Joe from Rebel Video. In this video, we're going to work on removing an object, text, or watermark from a video in DaVinci Resolve 19. Listen, I'm I'm not uh, a professional certified DaVinci Resolve 19 Pro. I am the owner of a marketing agency that does YouTube videos as advertisements for my clients, and I often have to get in and clean up a video from what they share with me. So along the way, I like to pull together uh, some tips that some of you may find helpful as I come across these problems when I'm working with my clients. And so in this particular video, uh, many of you that edit videos and create videos for other business owners probably run into this quite a bit. Um, I'm editing a video for them, and in the video, I wanted to remove this YouTube kind of logo that's in it. If you just look close, you can see it. Um, let me stop doing what I was doing before. But basically, as you as you can see, this is uh, a video of a pool table. I'm going to actually get rid of this audio part of it so it's not distracting to what we're doing. I have to unlink the clips first if you don't know how to do that. You go there, then you click on the clip, boom, got rid of the audio. Okay, so now let me show you again. So as you can see, this right here in the dead center, in the middle, it's pretty annoying. Uh, it's not part of the video that my client wants for the advertisement we're going to create. So I have to get rid of that. Here's what we're going to do. Inside the video editor in DaVinci, we go to color. Then from here, we hit the window. And then from the window, we select this little guy right here. And then I like to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to draw a box around it. The thing that you want to get rid of. So we connected the dots there. Um, then from here, I like to just kind of scroll back and forth to see if there's any movement. I don't see any movement, great. Next thing we're gonna do is head on over to our effects, and then we're gonna search for object removal. There it is, highlight that. But before I go there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the track back and forth. Uh, just to make sure that it's tracking over that logo or the text or watermark image that I want to get rid of, which is something you may have to do as well. So then we grab it, the object removal, we drop it over the node. And then from here, we're going to want to go ahead and do a scene analysis. So you click scene analysis, DaVinci Resolve is going through and analyzing this clip. And then some of the things you might find to be helpful here, and you see how it went gray, that's good. Um, that means that it's, you know, it's done the job. But what we wanna see is how to get rid of that gray. Over here where it says render, right here, I'll click it again, on the right-hand side, inside the inspector tool for the object, we did the scene analysis. And now what we're looking at is some of the adjustments we can make. So I have a boundary. Um, I suppose I could leave it at boundary, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it at boundary. But then right here, it says analysis boundary. How deep do you wanna go? If you go forward or backward, this is the number of frames. So as it tracks, it's reaching out or it's reaching back to make the corrections. Same thing with the render here. I'm sorry, that's, that's actually what we wanted was the render the render range, and you'll see that gray spot is going away, and that's really what we're trying to get rid of. Uh, and so under render, this is an important box right here, because this is where most people, me included, make the mistake. You don't want to just leave it on, uh, re excuse me, on linear. You want to go down to adaptive blend, and you'll see how it kind of disappeared. It got rid of the box. And then if I 
pull back the search range or go further out is not making a big difference there. So if I go up to the, the top one and I reduce the boundary or expand it, let's see if that makes a change. And by the way, the change that I'm talking about, if, if I'm not making this clear, watch in the window over here. Watch for the change. So I'm gonna slide it again. If you don't see a change, that's good. Um, and then I'm just gonna go back in time here on the timeline. And see, it gets a little wonky on the green right there. So let's see if we can figure that out. If I go smaller on the search range there, it makes it better. So I'm gonna go a little smaller. I'm gonna keep going down right here. Now listen, this isn't perfect, but it gets rid of, it gets rid of that text or that watermark. And you just have to take your time to really get used to these tools down here and going through and making finer adjustments. Now that I've done that, maybe I'll do a screen analysis one more time. Let's see if it changes anything. And we're done. Let's see if it's a little bit better. Yep, that looks better to me. That looks a lot better. So after you go on and you make some fine tuning, then you have a better, uh, a better result. So now from there, I don't change anything else here. We can just go back to the edit. And now I can make it bigger so you can see it. I'm just going to play it right here in the playhead. There we go. And no more text. Uh, still a little, a little blurry. So obviously if, if that's really bothersome more so than the text was that you had, you just need to go back over into the inspector on the object, object removal and just keep fine tuning and making that a better situation there. You just keep playing around in the adaptive blend. Maybe if I expand the search range again on the render setting. Let's just see if that makes any kind of difference real quick. I think where it's mostly showing up is when the pool player has his arm over the table. And for that, we can bring the box in a little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. You can see if you kind of move it around, it'll show what you're hiding. And obviously, the tighter you make it, the better quality your edit is going to be. So make it tighter. I'm making it tighter. One more little spot. And then let's just move this around and see if it... Oh yeah, that looks real crisp there in the beginning. That made a difference. That's the difference. Make it tighter, folks. Get back in there and really fine tune your wrap. Oh, there's one spot. I need to pull it out just a little bit higher right here. A little bit. There, that'll do it. So you see how that works? Just take your time. Find the different points on your timeline as you move through it and make fine adjustments. And then you're good to go. Go back to your editing, add in whatever else you're going to add in, and you should have a good video. Let me know if this helped you. And for those of you that are way more advanced at editing with DaVinci Resolve 19 than I am, please uh, leave a link down in the comment below to a video where you may have... Um, created something, a better workaround than what I've done. Certainly, I'm here to learn. My clients appreciate that I'm spending time learning these things. And I hope that my sharing this with you keeps our community of editors, small business owners, and entrepreneurs that are building online freedom and success based on these tools and the AI and running ads and whatnot. Well, I hope that I'm contributing to the community and that you as part of my community watching my videos can 
also lend your hand. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for subscribing. And if you're one of my clients, thanks for being my client. I'm certainly happy you're here watching these videos. You realize that I'm putting my time in for you. And that's a wrap. I'm going to call it quits. If you have uh, any questions on something else that maybe I can put together for you, I'm always happy to help. Just leave a comment down below. Tell me what your question is. And if I can't find an answer, I'll let you know that too. Over and out.